Shalawam. This is High Priest Kahalal Love the Law, also known as Calvin Israel. Back with another video lesson, giving all praises, honor, power, glory, dominion, majesty, reverence, blessings, worship, love, and admiration to the Most High, Yahweh, and Yahweh only. Double honors, triple honors to Yahweh. And Yahweh only. No Baha Shim. Understand that. All right. Now, the title of today's video lesson is God hates human sacrifice because God hates human sacrifice. Okay. Now, I could have named this video Get to Know the Hebrew God Part 2. Because if you knew the Hebrew God, then you would know that the Hebrew God hates human sacrifice. You must spend time in this so-called Old Testament to get to know these Hebrew scriptures in order to get to know the Hebrew God. And you would know that the Hebrew God hates human sacrifice. Now, I had done this video before on my old channel and when the Edomites took it down because I was speaking the truth against them, I had lost this video, so I'm recording it again now. So this is a new video lesson, but it is old Hebrew knowledge, old Israelite knowledge. Before the New Testament was written, our forefathers had this knowledge. It's all over the Torah Tanakh. They had the knowledge that our God, Yahweh, hates human sacrifice. He's the God of the Israelites. He's not the God of these heathen Illuminati members. He's not the God of the Illuminati that believes in human sacrifice. This is a pagan ritual. Human sacrifice is an abomination to Yahweh, the one and only true living God. It is a pagan ritual, an Illuminati ritual, an evil, wicked Ritual that the Canaanites, the followers of the abominable idol Baal, B A A L, used to practice this. And they still practice Baal worship to this day. And I'm talking about the elite ones, the Illuminati. They practice Canaanite practices, Canaanite rituals, and BL worship to this day. All of this abominable witchcraft and sorcery is what the Edomites, the kings of sorcery and witchcraft, the ones that is wearing the crown of wickedness today. The so-called white race, the white man, he practiced ancient Egyptian sorcery and wickedness, ancient Canaanite sorcery and wickedness of human sacrifice. They practice BL worship till this day. The elite ones, the ones who are at the top, they are trying to go to war with Yahweh, provoke Yahweh to anger, and satisfy their adopted God, the spiritual demon Lucifer. 
But this is all over the scriptures, you dumb Christians and Christian lights. How can you miss it? Baptism is an Illuminati ritual. You see it all in these Illuminati music videos. In their wicked music industry, you see baptism, being baptized underwater, being baptized in blood. We see this stuff in the music industry, in the music videos. These people are wicked. And these are the same people that wrote the New Testament. That's why baptism and human sacrifice is required in their book. And they are trying to push that pagan practice of baptism and human sacrifice into the Hebrew culture. And we're not going for it. We're standing up real mighty in the spirit of Yahweh. Coming as his zealots, letting the world know, letting the world know that our God, the one and only true living God, the God of Israel, hates human sacrifice. All right? Yeah. Let me preach like, like, like the Christian pastor, right? Let me preach like Greco Jennings so that you Christians can feel me. I, <laughs> yeah. We're going to let the world know that God, the real God, the living God, the God of Israel hates. I said he hates. Human sacrifice, which means he would hate what happened to JC if JC really existed. But the Most High hates human sacrifice, so he hates the New Testament. He hates Esau, Edom, the Edomites, so he hates the people who wrote the New Testament. I said he hates the people that wrote the New Testament because they are Edomites trying to lie on Yahweh, put false claims on Yahweh, and they do not know the real attributes and characteristics and the true personality of our God, the Hebrew God, the God of Israel. And we're going to let you know right now in this video lesson, we're going to let the world know that God, yeah, the real God hates who the world calls Jesus Christ. That JC is not his son. No, he's not. Because he hates human sacrifice and he will not sacrifice his sons he tells you not to do it here is Leviticus 18 and 21 and it reads and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch neither shalt thou profane the name of your God I am Yahweh read that again and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am Yahweh. Yahweh hates human sacrifice. If you perform human sacrifice, you are profaning the name of Yahweh, our God. Understand that. Let's go and get it again. He says it again. Leviticus chapter 20, 
Verse 2, and we real serious, man. You dumb Christians and Christian lights, y'all are fools. Y'all are idiots for believing in this pagan ritual. In believing that the God of righteousness, the God of glory, the God of gods could even be a part of something that is so wicked. If you believe in JC and you believe that he's your human sacrifice, then you are wicked. You are a part of these Israelites and Canaanites. That provoked the most high to anger. You are down with human sacrifice. You're a murderer. A murderer of the innocent. In pagan rituals. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 2. And again thou shalt say to the children of Israel. Whosoever he be of the children of Israel or of the stranger that sojourned in Israel. So listen up. He said, and again, and again, again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel. So we speaking again to you. We bringing these scriptures out. Precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. Line upon line. Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, whosoever he be of the children of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. So you cannot sacrifice a human being to Yahweh. If you sacrifice a human being to Yahweh, you are really sacrificing to Moloch because Yahweh does not accept human sacrifice. If you sacrifice a human like JC, you are to be put to death. Okay? JC cannot lay down his life for you. He cannot. JC said that he laid down his life for you on his own accord. He cannot do that. That's human sacrifice. And when you do that, you are doing that for Moloch. Even if you think you're doing it for Yahweh, you're doing it for Moloch and you deserve death. So if JC really did exist, he deserves death. He's going to be stoned when he resurrect. You cannot sacrifice yourself. You're human. You can't sacrifice another human because the Most High is not down with that. He hates that. And he literally says it. It tells you in the law, our God hates human sacrifice. He hates it. He's not going to do something that he hates. Thou shalt not do so Unto Yahweh thy God. For every abomination to Yahweh which he hateth, he hates, have they done unto their gods. For even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. So Yahweh hates what these heathens and pagans are are doing for their God. That's why he does not require it. He hates human sacrifice. He hates that the other nations is doing it for their idols. Thou shalt not do so unto Yahweh, your God, for every abomination, a disgusting, strong hate. So 
Human sacrifice is a disgusting, strong hate to Yahweh. It is an abomination for every abomination to Yahweh, which he hated. He hates it. Have they done unto their God for even their sons and their daughters? They have burnt in the fire to their gods. That's human sacrifice that he hates. You see it right here. You read it right here. You dumb Christians and Christian lights, right? You Israelite Christians, look up. Look at the screen. Can you pay attention? Can you perceive what you read? Yahweh hates human sacrifice. He hates when you sacrifice your sons and daughters. So he's not going to sacrifice his son. Because... These idiotic Christian lights over at Sakari, these fools, these morons, these dummies say that Yahweh sacrificed his son and that Yahweh can do whatever he wants to do and that Yahweh chose to do something that is an abomination unto him. And he's chose to do something by sacrificing JC. He chose to do something that he hates. The fake chief priest, Alazar, whatever he call himself, Gorilla Hebrew, said that the Most High God, Yahweh, sacrificed his son, JC. And that's a lie. And on our old channel, we blasted him for that. We exposed his lie. And that in the New Testament, it says that JC offered himself up. He laid his own life down and said that he has the power to take it up again. So you lie. We proved that you lied and that you don't know the New Testament as well as YLZ. And you don't know Torah and Tanakh as well as YLZ. And you're going to be destroyed for misrepresenting Yahweh. You're going to be stoned to death for taking the side of human sacrifice. Because that's in your heart. That's what you believe in. That's what you're down with. Wicked human sacrifice. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10. This is a very serious issue. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10. This is all over the Torah to not. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. Period. God hates human sacrifice. It is witchcraft. It is sorcery. You become a wizard and a witch playing around with things that the Most High told you that is an abomination to you and that he hates. And he's warning you, and this is not here for nothing. If you go against Yahweh, you got hell to pay, punishments, tortures, and torments to pay. When you play against Yahweh, he's not a nice guy. He means what he say. His word is firm it do not move he do not change understand that you witch you wizard all of you you're going to be punished for this for believing in this y'all down with this y'all think there's nothing wrong with it y'all overlook what the most high say and go and believe those Edomite Romans with their Greek literature, the New Testament. 
You completely disregard the Hebrew scriptures that was originally written in Hebrew. And you go and take the New Testament that was originally written in Greek. And you place those Greek literatures. You place them above the Torah Tanakh as being more authoritative. When it's not more authoritative. It's Greek for crying out loud. And the Torah Tanakh is our foundation to the law and to the testimony. So we went into the law and seen that Yahweh hates human sacrifice. It's an abomination and it makes you a witch. It makes you a sorcerer. You dealing with sorcery, divinations. Right? So to the law and to the testimony, that's how we can recognize Yahweh's true word. The prophets is the testimony. The law is the Torah. Isaiah 8 and 20. From the law unto the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, that is because there is no light in them. There's no light in the New Testament. Why? Because they're not speaking according to this word that Yahweh hates human sacrifice. Jeremiah 7 verse 30. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight. Human sacrifice is evil. Says Yahweh. They have set their abomination in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the sons of Hanam, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not. Neither came it into my heart. So it is not in the Most High's heart to sacrifice human beings. And it's evil. The Most High is not the God of evil. He's the God of righteousness. Understand that. Yeah, yeah understand that. Yeah, how we could put some evil on your ass, though. But he must rather you stay on the righteous side, right? Understand that. We're gonna we're gonna go to Jeremiah nineteen verse two. This is serious. Wake up, <laughs> yeah. Wake up. Oh, I gotta holler it like a. Christian pastor like Greco Jennings, wake up, wake, wake up, repent. I said, repent. Oh, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, this is real serious, though, right? And if you don't take heed, you're going to die. And ain't nobody going to pity you. Right? When you die, you be resurrected on the second earth and you're in a lower state, afflicted, with tortures and torments on you. You're a slave and you don't really know what it's like to be a real slave. But you will find out because you will be cut off from Israel. Even if you are an Israelite, you will be cut off from Israel. And we're going to beat you down. Yeah, the righteous one third, the remnant of Israel is going to beat you down for laughing, disregarding this, professing that you're wise. But you don't even know the knowledge of Yahweh. You don't know Yahweh. He hates human sacrifice. Jeremiah 19 verse 2. 
and go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate, and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee. And say, hear ye the word of Yahweh. Listen up, O kings of Judah. Listen up, king. And inhabitants of Jerusalem. Listen up, saints. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel. Behold, I will bring evil upon this place. I will bring evil upon this place. The witch Wheresoever heareth his ears shall tingle. Ooh, we great evil that when you hear it, your ears will shake, your ears will tingle and tremble because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place. And have burnt incense in it unto other gods, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of innocence. That means the Israelites were sacrificing innocent children. The Most High hates that. They learned that from the Canaanites and the Most High hates that. They're doing this for idols. JC was innocent. He cannot die. For Israel, innocent or guilty, you cannot die for the sins of Israel and say, oh, I died. I laid down my life. I'm going to commit this human sacrifice, lay down my life so that the children of Israel can be forgiven by their God that hates human sacrifice. And not only is this human sacrifice for my generation, but this human sacrifice is for all generations to come is going to hold you. It's going to hold you up under something that your God hates. Shut up. You can deceive those coons in Christianity. All right. They fools. <laughs> Yo, they're food. They're cooked food, man. All right. Going to be eaten by wild beasts. Understand that. All praises to the most high. All power. Glory. All praises and honor to the Most High for waking us up. That's right. We give all our strength, all our power to the Most High for waking us up, bringing us up out of that abominable New Testament, opening our eyes, letting us see who He really is. Yes, this is esoteric knowledge because a lot of people can't understand it. Esoteric knowledge of serving the Most High only, what he is really about, who he really is. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, for giving us this understanding. People without this esoteric knowledge, they will be destroyed. Verse 5, and they built also the high places of Biel. To burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Biel, which I command, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. So it's not in the Most High's heart, it's not in his deepest emotions, it's not in the Most High's mind, it's not in any of his thoughts for you. To perform a human sacrifice unto him. He's not going to perform a human sacrifice unto himself. That will be hypocritical. That will be him changing. That 
will be another God. That's not the God of Israel. We're going to stay far away from that story, that gospel story, because that is not what the God of Israel is about. Understand that. Now we're going to go to 2 Kings. 2 Kings 21, verse 6. To the law and to the testimony. All right. From the Torah to the prophet writings. If they speak not according to this word, that is because there is no light in them. There's no light in the New Testament. 2 Kings chapter 21, verse 6. And he made his sons pass through the fire and observe times and used enchantments and dealt with familiar spirits and wizards. He wrought much wickedness in the sight of Yahweh to provoke him to anger. What are you trying to do by taking the side of the New Testament, believing that the Most High gave you a human sacrifice, holding on to a human sacrifice, thinking it's going to clear you from your sins when the Most High hates human sacrifice and it's evil in his sight. And when you're doing that, you're provoking him to anger. Believing in JC, what are you trying to do? Provoke the Most High to anger? Yeah. Believing in JC, believing in the New Testament, that's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to provoke the Most High to anger. You're provoking the Most High to anger. Whoa, what a foolish man. Real talk, what a foolish man. To believe what the Most High is telling you not to believe in. What a foolish man. To believe in what the Most High is telling you is witchcraft. What a foolish man. What a foolish man to think that the Most High is part of something that is evil and something that he hates. What a foolish man. What a foolish man to cleave on to the New Testament. What a foolish, dumbass man and a dumbass woman following a dumbass man. Oh, man. Now, let's go and clear up some of these stories that y'all got mixed up. All right. Let's go to Judges. And we're going to go to Judges 11. Verse 30. We're going to start at verse 30. Judges. Chapter 11, verse 30. And Japheth vowed a vow unto Yahweh and said, If thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon into my hands, then it shall be that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me, when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be Yahweh's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. So Japheth passed over unto the children of Ammon to fight against them and Yahweh delivered them into his hands. And he smote them from Aurora even till Thou come to many, even twenty cities, and unto the plain of the vineyards, with a very great slaughter. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Israel. And Japheth came to Mizpah unto his house, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances. And she was his only child. Beside her, he had neither son nor daughter. And it came to pass when he saw her that he rent his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, thou hast brought me very low and thou art one of them that troubled me. For I have opened my mouth unto Yahweh, and I cannot go back. 
And she said unto him, My father, if thou hast opened thy mouth unto Yahweh, do to me according to that which has proceeded out of thy mouth. For as much as Yahweh has taken vengeance for thee of thy enemies, even of the children of Ammon. And she said unto her father, Let this thing be done for me. Let me alone two months that I may go up and down upon the mountains and be well my virginity, I and my fellows. And he said, Go. And he sent her away for two months. And she went with her companions and bewailed her virginity upon the mountains. And it came to pass at the end of two months that she returned unto her father who did with her according to his vow which he had vowed. And she knew no man and it was a custom in Israel. And it was a custom in Israel that the daughters of Israel went yearly to lament the daughter of Japheth, the Gilandite, four days in a year. Four days in a year. So can't you understand why the daughters of Israel went yearly to lament the daughter of Japheth? Because it was not the tradition or customs of Israel to sacrifice a human being. So that's why they're doing this. Because if it was just normal, then it be it'll be no way that they can just go up four times in a year to lament this girl, Jophath daughter. Because it'd be just so many people, so many children dead. That it'd just be no lamenting and it'd be like no memorial or anything. They're coming up to this grave site, this memorial site, and they're mad. I mean, you got to know the daughters of Israel. Like, yo, they get mad. They mad. And they're cussing, screaming, crying, saying, this bitch ass nigga Japheth does not even know you how he don't know our God. Our God is not with him. Our God was with the men of Israel in that battle, not him. Is this bitch ass nigga gonna sacrifice his daughter? They crying. Yeah. The daughters of Israel gets mad, man. They'll cuss you out. This bitch ass, punk ass, fake ass nigga, man. Gonna sacrifice his daughter. We know we don't do that in Israel, man. They crying like, oh, poor baby. Your dad didn't know enough, right? And you notice that Yahweh would never agree to it. This was a test to Japheth that he failed. He didn't know the Torah. He had it. He didn't know the Torah very well. Most High never agreed, never accepted it, and never asked for it. All right? So we're going to clear up another one let's go to 2nd Samuel chapter 12 and we're going to start at 13 2nd Samuel chapter 12 verse 13 and David said unto Nathan I have sinned against Yahweh and Nathan said unto David Yahweh also has put away thy sin thou shalt not die how be it because by this deed thou hast given great occasion 
to the enemies of Yahweh to blaspheme. The child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. Okay, now, this is the child that David had with Bathsheba. All right, when David committed adultery and had this child. So, the child died because of David's sin. See right here at the top, it says, how be it because by this deed, the child died because of David's sin, not for David's sin. All right, let me repeat that. The child died because of David's sin, not for David's sin, which means the child died did not die to erase David's sin. The child died because of David's sin, in result of David's sin. The results of David's sin caused his child to die. The scriptures tells us why the child could not live. Yahweh, as a father, had to cover up the life of the child so that King David wouldn't embarrass Yahweh and Israel in the sight of the enemy nations. All right, that story wasn't supposed to leave the family. The only way the whole world know about it is because Israel fell into idolatry and the heathens came in and kidnapped our holy scriptures and translated them. All right, so Yahweh took the child away so that the other nations wouldn't blaspheme and say, oh, the purest, holiest, righteous God is backing up a sinner. How is this? Right? And then they're going to go all out. And you know how the heathens do. These atheists is crazy, man. They get to talking crazy. All right? But King David had knowledge of the second earth. So he knew that his son was not really dead. Now we go over here to 12. Nah, son's not really dead. He just he just took the child and put him on the second earth. And he'll be there when David gets there. Second Samuel, same chapter. We're just going to go down to verse 22. Second Samuel. Chapter 12, verse 22. And he said, while the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept. For I said, who can tell whether God will be gracious to me that the child may live? But now he is dead. Wherefore, should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him. But he shall not return to me. So that's a cut on regeneration. This child is not coming back to the earth to be Solomon or something. No. Right? I shall go to him, but he shall not return unto me. Right? And that's a cut. God hates human sacrifice. So when you really understand the Hebrew scriptures, you know why these things happened why the most high did not let abraham sacrifice isaac right it's all a test Jopheth had a test he failed abraham he had a test he passed all right so understand that yeah how it hates human sacrifice come up out of the new testament jc is not a part of the Most High. Come, Yashallah.
All praises to the most high power forever and ever. Come, Yashallah. Rise, Israel.